Shoji. We look it up. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and for just 15 cents a day, you can give me 15 cents a day. A single-player game, I see. Yeah, thanks for making us go through all the effort. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Neptune! Now that Pluto is out of the way, we're the last planet in the solar system. And that's kick-ass, right? Neptune. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. So let's make this happen. Okay, to get things started, the castaway in the hat. If Dr. Seuss's Horton the Elephant ended up stranded on Elephant Island, what might he say to put a positive spin on his situation? An island's an island no matter how underground. An island's an island no matter how devoid of air. An island's an island no matter how radioactive. Or an island's an island no matter how c c c c c cold. Elephant Island is a mountainous island off the coast of Antarctica. So yeah, it's pretty cold. Probably too cold for elephants. And they probably have to rename the book Horton Hears a Polar Bear Trying to Kill Him. Here's one I like to call The Best Pet is a Shamed Pet. So you've probably seen this internet meme, Dog Shaming, where dog owners take pictures of their sad-looking dogs next to handwritten notes about what they did wrong. I peed on my owner's pillow. Ha <laughs> ha, stuff like that. What note would you not see in a dog shaming picture of Cujo? I trapped a woman and her child in a car. I killed a police officer. I killed an alcoholic neighbor. Or I ate the little boy who owns me. Time is short. Oh, hell, you should have at least tried. You might have even picked this. In both the book and the movie, Cujo traps a woman and her child in their car and kills several people, including a neighbor and a police officer. But the entire family that owns him is actually out of town during his rampage. If you ask me, they're the ones who should have to pose for a shaming picture. We left town without properly caging our dog, and he murdered a bunch of innocent people. <laughs> Hilarious. Dance with me, Disco 3. I call this one, there's a melanoma on that pigskin. Suppose you're at a University of Virginia or UVA football game and the students start doing the wave. If the UVA student's wave acts like the sun's UVA waves, how will the wave look? The crowd will make many short ripples. The crowd will make a few longer ripples. The crowd will make some long and some short ripples. Or the crowd will raise their hands. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> the correct answer is... The sun's UVA rays are referred to as long wave rays, while UVB rays are called short wave rays and UVC rays are even shorter. The longer waves are what make UVA rays penetrate deeper into your skin and the earth. So that's why people who start the wave are always shirtless and covered in body paint. For protection. And here I thought they were just assholes. Why not try? It's not a Tuma, but it is a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven phrases. For each one, tell me if it's a lesson from the book All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, or one of the American Film Institute's top 100 movie quotes of all time. If it's a kindergarten lesson, press the left arrow. If it's a classic movie quote, Press the right arrow. Ready? Let's go. A boy's best friend is his mother. Clean up your... Keep your friends... Say you're sorry. Play fair. No... After all, tomorrow...
show you the money. But not all of it because you are perfect. Okay, one more bonus question. Here we go. Movie quote or kindergarten lesson. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. You give up? It's both. Trick question. Here we have... How do you draw Carl's Jr.? Which of these restaurant chain's logos does not contain an image described by the restaurant name itself? Red Lobsters, The Cheesecake Factories, Planet Hollywoods, or Buffalo Wild Wings? One right answer coming up. There's a lobster in the Red Lobster logo, a Planet in the Planet Hollywood logo, and a buffalo in the Buffalo Wild Wings logo. But there's nothing cheesecake or factory related depicted in the Cheesecake Factory logo. Which is why I never eat there. Is it a cheesecake restaurant? Is it a factory? How the heck am I supposed to know what I'm getting myself into? I think you're a little lost in space. But you won't be for much longer because you've just won this globe of Neptune. You can't tell one uninhabitable area of frozen methane from the next without it. Today's wrong answer of the game earns you 4,000 bucks. Enjoy. That about does it for round one. And you've got a pretty nice score. It's a shame there's nobody here to share it with. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Well, no time like the present. Try this on for size. Epic Jail. Which of these Batman villains would most likely end up in the prison from Orange is the New Black? Penguin, Poison Ivy, Joker, or Mr. Freeze? Why so serious? Oh, right, because you failed miserably. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Orange is the New Black is set in a female prison, and Poison Ivy is the only female Batman villain here. I get so confused with that series. Is it a drama or is it a comedy? I mean, there are a lot of heavy, meaningful scenes, but on the other hand, there's a dude who dresses up like a bat. Question seven. Here's one for you. Energy in its most tasteless form. I like the types of questions that leave a waxy film in my mouth. Cookie fortune, cookie fortune, cookie fortune, cookie necessary. Okay, <clears throat> let's uh, let's read this sucker. To err is human, to forgive divine. Okay, which of these baseball scores describes a shortstop in need of divine forgiveness? E1, E3, E6, or E9? Oh, honestly. In baseball scoring, the pitcher is numbered one, the catcher two, first baseman three, second baseman four, third baseman five, and the shortstop is six. And the E is short for error. But don't look for forgiveness from me, buddy. You'll just have to live with your error, your millions of dollars, the endless parade of women, but not my forgiveness. And now, low-hanging fruit. If retailer Lane Bryant started pairing their plus-sized clothing with full-bodied red wines for an enhanced shopping experience, what might they advertise? The Chianti Collection, the Beaujolais Collection, the Sauvignon Blanc Collection, or the Petite Syrah Collection? Watch the time! Just take a guess next time. What's the worst that can happen? Don't let the name fool you. The Petite Syrah grape produces one of the most robust full-bodied red wines. Perfect for a full-bodied woman in a plus-sized red dress. 
The enhanced shopping experience would also feature the salespeople engaging you in heavy conversation over weighty topics. It's time for Uber Scary. So I started using Uber, you know that private car service app? Because I refuse to hail a cab like a chump. The only time I stretch my arm out anymore is to high-five my Uber driver. A person who has my information, but I don't know at all. Hey! Which cab driver should Uber not hire? Because he's a mass murderer. Lotka Gravis, John Winger, Archie Bunker, or Travis Bickle? Almost up. This is pathetic. Do I need to start answering the questions too? Travis Bickle is the serial killer played by Robert De Niro in Martin Scorsese's 1976 classic film Taxi Driver. I find the whole mass murderer cab driver stereotype offensive. Just because somebody wants to make an honest living murdering people doesn't mean they're secretly some crazy wacko who drives complete strangers around the city for money. Coming up next, O-U-S-O-B. I love when people just use initials instead of a first name. J.K. Rowling, T.S. Eliot, uh, others. Okay, shape up, because this one can be worth extra points if you get it right. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. Put these people in the following order. The actor from the Hughleys, the author of Lady Chatterley's Lover, the mystery man who hijacked a 727 in 1971 and then escaped by parachute. DB, DL, DH, DL, DH, DB, DH, DB, DL, or DL, DB, DH. Watch your clock. Hey, it's your game. You want to watch it slip away? Fine by me. While you're waiting. D.L. Hughley starred in the Hughleys. D.H. Lawrence wrote Lady Chatterley's Lover. And D.B. Cooper is the name used for a mystery hijacker from the early 70s who was never caught. Ah, the 70s, when all you needed to get away with a crime was a parachute. Welcome to the... I'm sorry, was I talking too much? Fine, here's your clue. Let's get it con. What film did these actors con their way through? Good luck.
There it is! I'm something of a con man myself. One time I ran this scam where I posed as the host of a fake game show. I would promise the players all sorts of money for answering trivia questions correctly, but once the game ended, I would just pocket the money and run off. Anyway... You know- 